G'day, how you doing? Adam Williams here from Easy Way Photography. Here we are at the old Wollonga Ruin Pier, about an hour south of Adelaide. Absolutely gorgeous subject for a landscape image. And what I've tried to do here is I've tried to find a composition where I've isolated all the individual pieces of this old pier while still maintaining a balance, a horizontal balance, left to right balance within the image, if you like. So what I've done, I've got a wide angle on, 20 mil lens on. I've gotten in really, really tight, filled my frame right up with this subject because I want as much of that detail and as much of that kind of gnarly texture from those logs to come out in my final image. Now, I've also got my Nissi holder on. I've got the 10 stop and the polarizer on. I've wound the ISO down to low, which is giving me about a 10 second exposure. So let me fire off a couple of those and we'll see what we get. I kind of want to take the waves out of the shot and calm the image down a little bit. Okay, I could actually expose that a little longer. I'll bump that up to about 15 seconds and shoot again. Just making sure I don't have any splash or droplets on that lens there, which I don't. The waves don't usually get this big at Wollonga Pier, although I'm not a local, I don't believe they uh, often get much bigger than this. It's relatively well protected in here, uh, but here comes a nice big one. We've got a nice sturdy Surui tripod here, so hopefully it can hold the camera steady whilst the 10 second exposure uh, does its thing. I'm not sure, hopefully that didn't move. That looks perfect now. So I'll fire off another one. Uh, it might just be the case that I need to wait for a little bit of a, uh, a break in the waves where I can really get that 10 second exposure done without the tripod moving. Here comes another huge one. Uh, that's looking really nice. Let's fire off another one there. I might even just lend a little bit of weight downwards to the tripod here. I've picked out three big rocks, so you don't want to be on sand when you're doing this because the sand will undercut the tripod as the waves come in and out. So I've picked three big rocks to be sat up on. So I think I should be getting a reasonably good chance of a, of a solid exposure, a sharp exposure here. This old jetty really lends itself to this dramatic sky as well. I'm pretty excited about what this might eventuate into. Yeah, that looks really nice. Let's grab a couple more. These waves are getting up really high now. I don't want to stay out here much longer. I feel like this might be the one. We've got a bit of a lull in these waves. Most of the exposure will be done before I get any big waves now, which will be great. Let's just grab one more at that whilst this lull is around. And what I'm going to do is grab one or two more shots, then I'll take the filters off and I'll get this beautiful textured sky without the long exposure. I really want this gnarly textured sky sitting above this really gnarly old pier here. Just one more while we've got the opportunity. And then as I said, I'll take those filters off and get this beautiful grungy textured sky and then blend those two together. The soft water with those awesome textured gnarly posts and a big grungy, dark, uh, dramatic sky above. Okay, I've framed right up now because I'm only really focusing on the sky. I'm not too concerned about the foreground. I'll use one of those other images for that. And we'll just grab a few shots of this really awesome sky here, making sure they're exposed correctly. I'm now down to a hundredth of a second, so I don't even really need the tripod. Okay, so I think we've got everything we need. We've got the long exposure foreground. We've got the short exposure sky. We'll bring all that together in post-processing in Photoshop, 
thanks again for watching along and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.